time I get off the ferry boat from Seattle and step foot on Bainbridge Island, I just think it's like a little bit of paradise. And you go to uh, what is known as Mecca to pickleballers. Court one, you've got sort of a garage on one side and Douglas firs on the other. So it feels like you're kind of playing in your den. People do come from all over the world to this court to see where pickleball was invented. These days, you can't swing a paddle without hitting a pickleball disciple. Fueled by its age-friendly appeal and by the need to do something during the COVID era, pickleball is the fastest growing participation sport in America. Just go out and try it. And if you're not having fun in the first five minutes, I'll be surprised. The game keeps growing and growing. More and more people are playing, and I think it's such a great game socially, and then it's such a great game for competitiveness. <laughs> Everybody can play. Grandmas, kids, nieces, from age three to 100. That's a pretty wonderful thing. In the summer of 1965, life on Bainbridge Island was simpler and slower. A perfect pace for state politician Joe Pritchard but too slow for Pritchard's then 13-year-old son, Frank. I was standing on the stairs to our house and my, my father came around the corner and I said, I hate it here, there's nothing to do. And he said, well, well, you know, when we were kids and we were over here, we used to make games up. And I said, oh really? Why don't you go make up a game then? And he said, all right. So Joel Pritchard, who would go on to serve 12 years in Congress, borrowed his son's plastic ball and enlisted the help of two of his neighbors. The three founders of the game were my dad, Bill Bell, my godfather, Joel Pritchard, and their friend, Barney McCallum. Joel and my dad fished out paddles that were lying around. And he'd taken an old badminton net and lowered it. And they had these crude paddles, and they were hitting the ball back and forth. And I remember my father saying, well, you know who we need? We need Barney. My dad was the business guy. Bill Bell, his uh, profession was a little bit of a mystery back in the day. And it's kind of come out after his death that he was a spy. Non-official cover. A knock would be somebody who is recruited by the CIA. My father had a hand in Southeast Asian uh, post-Vietnam politics, helping get POWs out of Cambodia and Laos and Vietnam. Pritchard, the politician, conceived the game. Bell, the gentleman spy, refined the rules of the game. And McCallum, the businessman, marketed the game and its equipment. But the real mystery? How did pickleball get its name? There are two versions of how that game was named. Version number one. It was named after the Pritchard's family dog, Pickles. Version number two. Joel Pritchard's late wife, Joan, named it after the misfits who row crew for the least competitive boat in a race, the Pickle Boat. Not named for the dog, not named for the dog, not named for the dog. Mystery solved. They have some very strong evidence that it wasn't the dog. I'm not sure how much evidence there is that it was the pickle boat. Does it really matter? I don't think so. Texas billionaire Tom Dundon devotes most of his attention to his Carolina Hurricanes. But in the last 12 months, he's purchased Pickleball Central, which is the Amazon of pickleball merchandising. He's also arranged TV deals and assigned some of the top players to exclusive contracts on the Professional Pickleball Association Tour. This is no Bainbridge Island mom and pop operation. We're gonna build out the retail, the merchandise, the data, the tournaments for amateurs, and the pro side all as one plate. I hope it never loses that sort of element of innocence. 
My name is Annalie Waters. I'm 15 years old, and I've been playing pickleball for about five years now. Annalie Waters not only plays the game, she's the best women singles player on the planet. Not bad for someone who isn't old enough to get a driver's license. I was playing professional pickleball at 12 with my mom. I don't think I could have done that in any other sport but pickleball. Anna Lee and her 43-year-old mom, Lee, who played college tennis at South Carolina, are also the number two ranked women's doubles team in the world. What a way to end it. Family matters in Orlando. We cry, we laugh, we share every emotion, we're best friends, and it's all because of the sport of pickleball. That's the pickleball future. But what about the pickleball past? I doubt they could believe it. I mean, truly, I can't believe it. If it keeps that good feeling, I think my father would be thrilled. The founders of the accidental sport have passed away, but their legacy remains. Every year, pickleballers from around the world make the pilgrimage to the shrine that is court number one. I was driving home and there was a church parking lot where they had striped out three pickleball courts and a bunch of senior, you know, older people were out playing pickleball. <laughs> Uh, it was just, I pulled over and got out of the car and watched. It was a beautiful thing. <laughs>